So in the series of learning Python programming language, in the previous video we have seen index error, like what is index error, why you get this index error and how to fix this error, right? Now the next topic is nested list. I hope you are clear with what is list in Python, how to use the list and all. We have discussed this thing. Now we'll be discussing what is nested list, right? I'll show you practical also. See, if I make a list, something like this, suppose I'm making a list uh, of numbers, numbers is equal to, and this is a list like 1, 10, 15, 20, like this, right? And duplicate elements are also allowed, we know. So rather than this, I can directly, I can this uh, 15, we can, I can write down again. So this is what a list, right? List of numbers, list of names possible or let's, uh, you know, list need not to be homogeneous. This list is also possible, like I'm writing 1, 10, then I'm writing Jenny, a string, then I'm writing like true. So this is boolean, this is string, this is what? Integer, right? So this kind of list is also possible. Mixed data type. Now, what is nested list? Nested list. List within a list. Suppose rather than writing this thing, I'm writing something like this. This and this. So this is one list, but within this list, I have one more list. Having 20 minus 10 and 15. So this is what? Nested list. It's not like that. We can add more elements also. Like we, I, I can add something like this. So this is nested list because it is list within a list. Right? Now the point is, if one question for you is, if I find out length of this list using length function, like length numbers, then what would be the length of this list? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Is it 8 or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6? Is it 6? It is 6. Why so? Because this complete list is considered to be one item of this outer list, not three item. So the length of this list is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, not 8, right? So this is concept of nested, nested list. Now, how this, this list is to be stored? Let me just show you the memory allocation. See, we have a list, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 elements. So I have like 1, 10, 15, then 17 like this and here rather than the, these elements we are having what reference of this list 20 minus 10 and 50 something like this right now index is 0 1 2 3 4 5 0 1 2 and this list is what the name of this list is numbers so how you can access the element of this simply numbers, the name of the list and in subscript, obviously the index. So if I write like 0, so it will give 1. If I write 1, it will give 10. If I write 2, it will give 15. If I write 3, what it will give? 20 minus 10, 15, something like this, right? If I write 4, 17, 5, a 0. But if you want to access the individual, ele individual element of this list, then how you can access? First of all, numbers, 3. After that, next index would be maybe either 0, 1 or 2. Right? Through this, we can access like this. 3, then 1, or 2 or 3. Like 3, 0. It will give 20, this element. 3, 1. It will give minus 10, something like this. And slicing is also possible. We have discussed what is slicing, right? So I hope what is nested list it is clear to you guys now let me just take one example we'll make a program and on that we'll be discussing what is how how you can access these elements what is slicing how you can apply slicing on this list also right so i'll show you practically so let's create a new file here nested underscore list okay now i'll making a list like I'm taking list to one name and here I'm writing like 10, 34, 
like this. So, this is outer list, this is list within a list. So, let me just print what would be the length of this list. Let us select current file and run this. See length is 5, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. This complete is one item only, right. Now if you want to access the element of this list, then using obviously using index we can access, right. So let us just print. If I write something like this. Now list 1 and I want to access at 4th index. So at 4th index we have 89. Now because 0, 1, 2, this complete is at 3rd index and then 4. Now let me just access the 3rd index. See the complete list you could because at 3rd index this is the list. Now 3rd index and then again one more index 0. Now you will get this 45, right? At 3, 0, we have 45. At 3, 2, we have minus 3. I hope you got how to access. If there is a nested list, how to you can access the element. Rather than this 45, 78, minus 3, you can put here any names also. So strings also allowed. Like here we have integer, here we have string allowed because list can contain mixed data type, right? Now slicing and see if I write negative index like minus 2, at minus 2 we have this list only because this is minus 1, 89 at minus 1, negative indexing from backward, this is minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, something like this, right. Now what is slicing, see and see if I write rather than this index, I am uh, here just putting len function, len of list 1 right and suppose minus 1 if I wrote something like this like list 1 but rather than providing the direct index I am providing some expression length of the list 1 and then minus 1 now length of this list 1 is 1 2 3 4 5 then 5 minus 1 is 4 so index would be 4 so what it should print 89 right now if I write here minus 2 then 3 ultimately index would be 3 so now it is printing this list right so rather than direct index some expression can also be there that would be evaluated and after that uh, just find out the you know index value right okay let's see slicing here okay so list 1 and I am providing here first third index then at second index nothing Slicing means start point, end point, but if you do not provide provide anything, then start point would be by default 0, but the first index and ending point would be the length of the list, right? So length of this list means 1, 2, 3, so 0 to 3, it would be 0 to 3. Let's suppose first write 0, 2, 3. So it will print this complete list, 45, 78 and minus 3, but if I do not put 0 and 3, then also it will print this list because by default here we have 0 and here we have 3, right. And if you put something like 0, 2, I want to access only 0, 2, 2, okay. Now what it will print only 2 element 45 and 78 from 0th index that is 45 and 2 is, what is this 2? Not index, it is length of the list, length of this list because this third, this index 3 that is for outer list. So at third index we have this list. Now for this list we are providing next index. So 0 means from 0th index to 2, 2 means length of this list till 2 length like 1 and 2 right. So till 78 it will, it will print right means till 2 minus 1 that is 1 index. So 0 to 1, 45 and 78. I hope you got this. And rather than this, one more thing we have at third, if you do not do not provide anything here and third part is the step. If you have watched my that video uh, list in Python, then we have discussed this thing also. Now third is steps. So now by default step is one, it will print some 
everything 45 78 minus 3 and if I write step is 2 so first it will print it will start from 0 that is 45 then 2 step means 1 and 2 means 45 and minus 3 it will print only not 78 it will skip 78 45 and minus 3 so like this we can access the list of element of nested list and we can provide slicing on that list so this is basically you know, basic idea of nested list in python okay so one question for you is this is the list we have list 2 is this one first of all tell me it is possible is it possible to create this type of list and then you have to tell what is the length of this list and then how you can access i just want to print this uh, like uh, i just want to access this this one the ram then how you can access this ram what you have to write right so this is for your assignment you have to tell in comment section so i hope you got what is nested list and how to use it how to access the element of nested list so the next video we will see one coding exercise so now it's the next video bye bye take care